All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here in the Freedom Office. What are we doing? Well, I am setting up an optic to take out to the range so that we can test out the four Econ builds that I just finished putting together. Yes, AR-15s. It's an amazing thing because I probably build more ARs and test more ARs. I do competition shooting, uh, USPSA, two-gun nationals, uh, three-gun nationals. Uh, we're going to compete in the Memorial 3-Gun, shooting to raise money for the guys in the Special Forces and their Special Operations uh, for that it, uh, gave the ultimate sacrifice, you know. Things like this. Uh, oh, yeah, like there's a 6.5 Creedmoor back there. That we're uh, doing a uh, raffle with, in conjunction with the Crazy Scotsman uh, in the Balmy Channel uh, to raise money for 22 a day. All right, so it's amazing to me that I actually received an email like I did this morning. And I'm kind of glad I did. And this comes from a guy. His name is, I'm just going to leave it at Chris. But Chris writes to me, and this is interesting. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so here we go. Um, there's a guy that just texted me on West Virginia Gun Trader. Okay, if you guys are not familiar with that, I went ahead and uh, decided to uh, apply to be a member there so I can go ahead and jump in on the conversation. Uh <laughs> At the end of anyways, I shared a video with my peers about the Trigger Tech Diamond. Love that trigger. Always on the competition rifle simply because it is absolutely beautiful. And how much I like the trigger. There's a guy who responded, the only response that said, that said, and I quote, Coda Boy 32 is a FUD. Now I'm going to ask you guys, real quickly, what is your definition of a FUD? Uh, cause I really, I, I thought about it so hard that I, I just don't, I can't see myself as a foot. Now I'm an asshole. Um, I'm, I'm a prick sometimes to people and I'm short with folks, but in generally I'm a nice guy and I love AR-15 platforms, anything that's semi-automatic and balls to the wall. Hell, full auto, shit. <laughs> You've seen it on my channel. So it's interesting to me that some guy probably sitting in the basement, of his mom and dad's house with a bowl of penises, can't figure out how to get them down his throat fast enough, wants to say that I'm a FUD. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, man. Am I a FUD? Do I represent the FUD nation? FUDs. Maybe that's a new, man, uh, that's fast, unequivocally demanding, the badass. There you go. Maybe that's their new definition of a FUD. So anyway, uh, I, in response to that, Okay, hold on one second. Um, I am going to go it out there. I'm gonna, I want to see this shit myself. But in response to that, I actually sent my good friend Victor the question. Victor, I said, uh, hey, man, am I a FUD? What is a FUD? Help me out. A FUD. <laughs> the KB-32. And this is how cool, man. This made my day. With all of those way cool AR builds you're always showcasing, not even close. Whoever suggested that you're even approaching the proximity of FUDhood, clearly doesn't understand the definition of the term and definitely needs to pay a visit to the Social Re Republic of California, where the FUDs and progressive ones around that are abound. Now, here's my definition of a FUD. A FUD is a guy who sat there and voted for, say, Joe Biden because he was under a full understanding that, well, He's not coming after your guns. And the guns that he's coming after, we just shouldn't even bother with those because they're so evil, those big old black guns. Because, you know, big, long, surging, huge, amazing, big old black things coming at you like this. Guns. Just crazy. That's my, uh, that's what a FUD is. A FUD is a guy out there with his reflective vest on that thinks a double barrel shotgun is okay. And as long as no one comes after his double barrel shotgun, the Second Amendment is protected. And there's a lot of them out there. That's what a FUD is. I'm not a damn FUD. And that pisses me off. And I, I, actually, I'm not pissed off. And I'm actually honored that some jackass out there has taken enough time out of his day and his life to recognize that he knows maybe who I am. And, well, he thinks I'm a FUD. And that's okay with me. Because you have the right in my country to think how you want to and to feel how you want to and express how you want to. The First Amendment is always there. But a keyboard warrior and these jackasses who make stupid comments on the internet, well, st just stay in your mom's basement, okay? Get that big bowl of wieners, 
figure out how you can slap yourself and give you a mushroom bruise on your forehead with them. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to say thanks, Chris. Thanks, Victor. You guys saved my day, man. Made my day. Am I a FUD? Yeah. Uh, wrong answers only would be kind of fun. Let's do it. It's Boy 32 If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Callaway Ammunition. We're going to be doing a lot of testing, specifically with these rifles. Uh, it's interesting to take four identically built firearms to see if there's a huge difference in their performance level. So we'll see. 55 grain doesn't really do good with the 1 and 8 twist uh, Bear Creek Arsenal barrels, but the 77 grain does. And we'll take some of that out as well. With that being said, you guys have a great day. And here's to the FUDs out there. Eat a bowl of dicks. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.